Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Mohammed Yusuf. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safiya Palace Samahat al Sayyid Abdullah Al Ghraifi, accompanied by a number of clerics, who congratulated His Majesty the King on the advent of the holy month of Ramadan, wishing him abundant health and happiness and many happy returns. His Majesty welcomed the attendees, exchanged congratulations with them, and wished them many happy returns. He expressed appreciation for the role of religious scholars in increasing coexistence and affirming common human values and moderation, as well as their role in serving Islam and disseminating its teachings, as well as raising awareness on its principles that are based on moderation. His Majesty added that Bahrain takes pride in being a model for communication, tolerance and coexistence, and its embracement of all without discrimination, and it will always remain a country of coexistence between different religions, sects and people based on respect for all. The leaders of the three major GCC horse racing jurisdictions are set to begin a dialogue aimed at develop development of a coordinated regional racing offering. The racing clubs in Saudi Arabia, the UAE and Bahrain are to schedule talks in the coming months covering topics such as coordination and equine quarantine and ease of travel as well as race scheduling and the sharing of knowledge and information among owners and breeders in the three countries. The Bahrain International Trophy is held in November. The Saudi Cup is at the end of February and the well-established Dubai World Cup Carnival season and Dubai World Cup race day spans from January to March. The chairman of the Jockey Club of Saudi Arabia, Prince Bandar bin Khalid Al Faisal, said that with an increasingly attractive racing offering already taking place across the region, they decided to focus on ways to open up racing to each other while simultaneously making it more attractive for internationals to come here, facilitating the progression of racing standards across the entire region. The chairman of Bahrain's Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, said that horse racing holds a special place in the hearts of sports enthusiasts in the region, and their shared passion is a catalyst for engagement at all levels to develop a mutually beneficial program, but both within the Gulf and outside the region. His Highness highlighted the excitement by the prospect of an integrated regional racing schedule that draws upon established strengths to elevate standards and competition. For his part, the chairman of the Dubai Racing Club, His Highness Sheikh Rashid bin Dalmouk al Maktoum, expressed his optimism with the cooperation. The Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Sheikh Khaled bin Ali Al Khalifa, announced the updates of new features of electronic services provided in the justice system in cooperation with the Information and E-Government Authority. The Minister said that the most prominent of these updates is to allow the addition of the parties outside Bahrain in the case of lawsuits. He stated that the new additions included an increase in the size and of attachments in the service of filing lawsuits, which will contribute to increasing the efficiency of the service provided and accommodate a large number of attachments in a single case. The Minister of Justice expressed his deep thanks and appreciation to the judges and lawyers for their roles in the process of continuous development of electronic services through their valuable suggestions and opinions, noting that many of these amendments and advantages are due to observations and ideas submitted by the judges and lawyers. The Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs, Wa'al Limbarak, and the CEO of the Electricity and Water Authority, Sheikh Nawaf bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, inaugurated the first electric cars charging station in Sar. This comes within the framework of achieving Bahrain Economic Vision 2030 and achieving the vision of the government headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The minister said that AWA is proud of the advanced achievements that the kingdom has reached to serve all citizens, residents and visitors. The CEO said that the electric car charger was installed in, by Simmons, one of the specialized companies in this field and it supports most types of electric cars. He explained that this station will be the first among a number of additional stations that will be open in the future in various regions of the kingdom. The minister and the CEO confirmed AWA's keenness to develop its services in line with future developments in the field of electricity and water following best technological methods that are compatible with international requirements.
Consultant of Infectious Diseases at Salmania Medical Complex, Dr. Jamila Salman called on all members of the community to take the available vaccination and not wait for specific shipments of specific vaccinations to arrive in order to adhere to precautionary measures, which is the best way to prevent coronavirus at the present time. She said that international agencies have published studies confer confirming their prediction of the success of the available vaccinations and curbing the spread of the virus, explaining that the countries of the world are witnessing a great change challenge in confronting the virus and its consequences, so cooperation must be done with the concerned authorities to overcome the virus. Dr. Salman noted the necessity of taking the vaccination because of its effectiveness in reducing the symptoms resulting from the virus and its complications, stressing the continuation of national efforts to preserve the health and safety of citizens and residents by providing the necessary vaccinations in order to obtain community immunity. She stress the importance of following precautionary measures and the role of this in protecting individuals and the society. Dr. Salman called for the importance of continuing to wear masks, applying social distancing, leaving the house only when necessary, and avoiding social gatherings, especially during the holy month of Ramadan. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 659,990 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 520,745 had taken the second. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 10,657 with 891 recoveries, 1,035 registered new cases and one death. 413 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 570 are contacts of active cases and 52 are travel related. The deceased was a 67-year-old male citizen. The ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the family of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.